And at 6 o'clock, the University of Tulsa will see major changes in the next couple of years after announcing program cuts and consolidation this week. Our Ashley Wheeler went to work to show us how these changes will impact students working toward graduation and the faculty who teach them. The university plans to reduce degree programs by 40%, greatly affecting liberal arts. Students and faculty from these programs tell me they're crushed and they're worried about the direction that the college is going. Jacob Patterson was heartbroken when he found out the theater program he just graduated from is being eliminated. We always felt like we had a place to come back to it to you, and we really and we don't anymore. Over the next two years, the university plans to cut nearly half the number of programs it offers. It sounds like a lot, but the school says only about 6% of the student body is majoring in those programs. TU says the changes are part of an effort to prepare them for a changing job market. TU says current and incoming freshmen majoring in the programs being cut will be allowed to finish their degrees. But Patterson says it's not fair to the younger classmen currently enrolled in those programs. Even if the programs are being, you know, phased out with no more new students coming in, it's really impossible for a theater program to last more than one more year. A professor at the college for more than 30 years, Jacob Hallen was shocked when he heard about the changes. Not to be able to study philosophy and religion, these are the source of the great traditions that are at the heart of a liberal education. My interests are fed by the stuff I teach and vice versa, and um, that's just being ripped away right now. Senior philosophy major Jacob Lee says liberal arts education is important for everyone. It's what teaches us some of the deepest values in our culture. I think it teaches us to really be people. I think without this, this university really can't aspire to much of anything. Howland, along with other concerned faculty, students and alumni met this afternoon to decide on language for a petition and other action they may decide to take. In Tulsa, Ashley Wheeler, Two Works For You.